Jennifer, today I cry with you. Today, I grieve with you. With promises undelivered, with all of the disappointment you've experienced, you still love me. Even though your faith fails you in this moment to move, you still profess your love for me. You still honor your commitment to not run from me. Jennifer, you love me as I love you. It's unconditional. It is separate from activity. It just simply is. The activity we can always work through. The activity, there's always another moment, another day. But just as you are, now I can be fully persuaded that nothing will separate me from the love of Jennifer. I have always wanted you to get to the point where you simply love me. Will you love through hurt? Will you love through hardship? Will you love through disappointment? Will that love be enough to cause you to stay, to not run away? Time after time, I've come after you over and over again. The one that kept getting away, but now I know you're here to stay. Now I know I won't have to come back <laughs> to get you from those places that are far beneath you. Today you've shown me the extent of your love, I recognize it because it's my own. It's one that understands man's fallibility, that man is not perfect, that man is limited, that man can only go so far but it is the love that carries them the rest of the way. Jennifer, I am love. And as long as you embrace it, I will carry you wherever you need to go. See, the power is not in money. The power is not in things. The power is not in gifts. The power is not in ministries. The power is not in people. The power is not in relationships. The power is not in great speeches. The power is not in activity. The power, Jennifer, is in my love. I never did anything separate from love. I never healed separate from love. I never taught separate from love. It was in love that the power resided for me to perform miracles I never had to come down. 
I could have stayed here. But it was the love that brought me to man face to face. My power is carried, Jennifer, by love because I am love. If you want to work for me, if you want me to work through you, you have to embrace love. Not the love that is with condition. That is not me. It is the love that is limitless, that is inexhaustible, that is eternal. You think I've been training you <sighs> to, I don't know, be Wonder Woman, Jennifer? <laughs> but I've been training you to display my wonders, Jennifer. What are my wonders? They are limitless and exhaustible because my love is that way. Do you see? Do you see? I have been training you to love without limits. You hear that, Jennifer? To love without limits, you finally learned to love without limits. You're ready. Today, I send you out for you to operate through the power of my love to heal, to deliver people from demonic entities to prophesy, to exercise all the spiritual gifts with the understanding that the power comes through my love because I am love. You cannot do this great work I've called you to without me. You cannot do this great work I've called you to without love. You are finally, finally ready. This is what it's all been about. Everything I put you through, everything, there was not a day that you denied your love for me that you withheld your love for me. No matter what they do, Jennifer, no matter what they do, do not withhold your love for them. Do not deny them of love. Do not deny them of me. I send you out to give them love. I send you out to give them me.